Hello everyone, welcome to Japan Spirit. I'm Kawatani Takashi. My name is Hang Yun. Okay, today's topic is about Japanese English, uh, how to speak Japanese English. Uh, before we get into the subject, uh, how did you learn English? In my case, yes. I started learning English when I uh, got the, in the primary school. Oh. So, but oh. like, it was just like, you know, like learning, but oh. I was oh. not that interested. Oh. Oh. But uh, when I got into secondary school, oh. then I started being exposed to, oh. um, you know, like Discovery Channel, uh -huh. CNN, and a lot of, you know, like, um, and other American TV shows. So in your primary school, uh, Vietnam teaches English? To, yes. to most pupils, students? It's a mandatory subject. Oh, is it like a Japanese style or reading, or reading and grammar? Yes. Oh. Yeah. I think it's Asian style. Mm. So the materials or the audiovisual aids they use are uh, American based or Vietnam English uh, based? Uh, actually, <laughs> the itself, like, huh. um, actually, the book itself, like, actually, the book itself, it's based from a book that huh. was published by Oxford. Ah, I so see. I guess it's British. British. English. Oh. Yes. Um, do do Vietnamese people uh, fantasize speaking like American uh, accent, hmm. like many Japanese do? Uh, I think in terms of ah. like American accent, like Japanese people are ah. more obsessed with oh, American obsessed accent. With <laughs> to Vietnamese people, we like we prioritize like. Ah. Um, as long as we can communicate, we mm -hmm. can make ourselves understood in mm. English, it's fine. Mm. Okay. Like, we don't really judge the accent. Though. Okay. So, um, but like, one of the things that I usually hear when mm. I'm in Japan mm. is like, uh, Japanese people have these kind of thinkings, like, mm. uh, we cannot survive in this globalizing mm. world without using, without speaking mm. English, mm. or that um, English learning should start as early as possible mm -hmm. and also like um, we, we should only learn English from mm. native speakers. Okay, the, the the, those are a very complex issue mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that we want to look at today. But just to answer briefly regarding uh, the first one is unless survival like uh, uh, bringing our lovely uh, bread to the families, feeding mm -hmm. our starving children uh, you have to sell your goods to, to, to earn your living. So unless survival becomes an issue, language will never improve. Mm -hmm. That's why Asian people, uh, Indian people are so good. Okay. And number two, Im regarding the as, early, as early as possible, children, mm -hmm. emotions or jokan enter at an early age. Mm -hmm. So if you teach English to a very early uh, child, are we going to uh, uh, let let the uh, non-Japanese emotions into the mm -hmm. childhood before they become Japanese. Mm -hmm. uh, and number three, regarding native speakers, native teachers here, no offense to you, because you are, some of you are my friends, I think, uh, native teachers here are in an extremely advantageous position than the students. Mm -hmm. Of course, they are the teachers, but do they, don't they misunderstand the Japanese uh, reticence, for example? Mm -hmm. Not very active, yeah? Yes. as a lack of confidence. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are, we are very truthful mm -hmm. about the complexity of the all issues in the world affair. That's why we cannot speak like mm -hmm. American people. Mm -hmm. Things are not so simple. Mm -hmm. uh, and don't they misunderstand our ambiguity in answering mm -hmm. questions, for example, as uh, our heads are not so clear. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we are looking at multiple things at, at the same time. The same so, time. so um, that, that is my short answer. Um, okay, uh, many Japanese seem uh, self-conscious about uh, Japanese accent or, 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 or Japanese grammar, uh, saying it is not sophisticated, uh, not nice, therefore native English should be the, our model to, to aim for. Mm -hmm. But we should look at the costs of running after native English. Are we happy that the uh, Japanese will forever, forever become uh, second-class uh, speakers because we are not the native, uh, we are not native speakers forever. Mm. Uh, for many years in Japan, uh, the level of English seems matching with the level of self-respect or jisonshin or confidence mm. when we use it in, 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 in business, for example. But look at the 
uh, I don't know Vietnamese so much, but the Singaporeans and mm. in, uh, uh, Indians and mm -hmm. the Filipinos, do they care about <laughs> the structure? <laughs> mm. In fact, one study uh, uh, unconfirmed says that the Singaporean, they speak very good English, yeah? but yes. their English level, if you uh, analyze carefully, <laughs> yes. it's, it's said to be a mm. bit lower than the, the appropriate level, mm -hmm. you know, but they communicate so well. So our proposal today is Japanese should not waste time in learning English. We should graduate from inferiority complex and fantasizing or romanticizing native English and instead take advantage of it to make a clear-cut messages. Priority, priority-wise. Nice. Of course, we don't uh, deny the American English, which is so important for yes. those people who do some business with them. Yes. But that's not everything, right? Mm. Um, okay, uh, I'll ask you something, yes. okay, unrehearsed. <laughs> uh, suppose a, this is an international conference, yes. many delegates from many countries. When Asian, uh, when people from non-native countries uh, yes. make some speech, yes. everyone looks very relaxed because they fully understand, <laughs> you know. But when an American delegate makes speech, mm -hmm. Everyone starts wearing the headset <laughs> for interpretation. Mm. Uh, have you have you seen that kind of conference on TV? Or? I uh, actually that's kind of you know like it's a very, very common scene. Oh, is it? And oh, I don't know. But like, I I think like mm. um, it's just like uh, Asian people somehow mm. we feel more nervous mm. when you know let's say. Whether, the, whether or not that person mm. is native English speaker, mm -hmm. as long as that person looks Caucasian. Mm. For example, mm -hmm. like uh, I attended a conference and mm. um, uh, one of the, one of the um, speaker, he's actually mm. from Italy. Mm -hmm. So to be honest, he has accent as well. Yeah. <laughs> and to be honest, like, uh, ah. like his, his English, like ah. somehow it's not as easy to understand as others, yeah, of course. but just because he looks Caucasian, mm, so mm, mm, somehow mm. Asian people still have this kind of like kind um, of inferi uh, in inferiority, inferiority. I, 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 when I, I, see someone who looks Caucasian <laughs> speaking. So I somehow find it uh, funny and funny, sad yeah? at the same time, mm, because okay, Asian, okay. I, I think like all languages are mm, beautiful and mm. I mean like um, we s maybe we not be mm. you know native English speaker, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but uh, let's say like like may I ask you something? Sure, for, sure. For example, like do you judge someone who is not Japanese and tries to speak Japanese? No, I don't. I don't care so much. I'm more mm. interested. I will look at what he's trying to tell me. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the same to oh. Jap uh, to Vietnamese people. To oh, be honest. Oh, oh, oh. So like when foreigners try mm. to speak. Vietnamese, hmm. we feel appreciated, appreciated that they try speaking in our native language. We never judge their accent. So somehow... So this Japan phenomena <laughs> seems very funny then. <laughs> so I mean, okay. I, 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 because I don't know whether, you know, like English, like native speaker, they judge, hmm. you know, like other people's accent. I, I, don't, um, I don't really know. But I think it's, I mean, like, all, all accents are unique uh -huh. and we should appreciate the difference. As long as uh, we yes. get some points across. Yes. Okay, uh -huh, that was a very excellent point. Yeah. But I'd like to test your okay. English uh, <laughs> uh, fluency. Okay. <laughs> okay. The, other day, the other day I went to a uh, uh, British museum mm -hmm. to learn British English. No, <laughs> just to have a fun, okay? <laughs> and then I bought this book, How mm. to Be British. Okay. <laughs> just the title is so funny, right? <laughs> How to be British. How so it is impossible. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, uh, the first one, just a joke, okay? Yes. Uh, someone in a, uh, in a long coat is walking with a dog around the Thames River. Someone is drown drowning in the river, yes. calling out for help, mm. but he doesn't care at all. Mm. Because the language is so, so uh, what do you call it, simple. simple. But when he says something, he starts throwing the, what do you call, uh, life belt. Yeah. Okay? What he says is, sorry, uh, excuse me, sir, I'm terribly sorry to bother you, but I wonder if you would mind helping me <laughs> a moment, as long as it is no trouble, of course. <laughs> <laughs> then the guy <laughs> with a silk cap or something mm. throws a knife belt. Mm. So this is just ridiculing mm. the British uh, yes. formality, which, yes. which I enjoy so much. Okay? <laughs> There's nothing to do with that today. Uh, one more, one more uh, British uh, mm. <laughs> joke, you know? 
this is uh, obviously a host family, mm -hmm. homestay, uh, a, a homestay people to, to yes. students, yeah? a British mother. Mm -hmm. So what does that say here? Huh? Like our landlady treats us like members of the family. <laughs> members of the family, so they are forced <laughs> to work for your charge. <laughs> this is, this wow. is uh, the, the kind of uh, uh, so it's a dis uh, yeah. sarcastic, uh, yeah, this sarcastic side. joke. Okay, <laughs> here is a punchline I'm, uh, about Ooh. English language, okay? Mm. This third one is so brilliant. Mm. I'm sure the viewers will enjoy it so much. British beer, they mm. love beers, right? British people, yes. right? Uh, instant English. You know, big big uh, glass full of beer is called a pine. Mm -hmm. One pine, the first pine. Yeah, first pine. No change to your English. Mm. Yeah, even if you're drunk. Huh? Yes. Second pine. Uh, pines. Your English goes up a level. <laughs> mm. Your English goes up one level. Up, one right? level. Because you become uh, fluent. Uh, after three pints, your English goes up a little more, but your grammar disappears. Ah, okay. <laughs> Number four, after four pints, mm. you become very fluent, but start mixing English with your own uh, language. <laughs> <laughs> you become incomprehensible, right? Yes. After five pints, you, dis you discover you can sing in English, and uh, brilliant at the karaoke, mm. because you, don't, you have no shyness at all. Yes. After six pints, you suddenly know lots of taboo words in English. Mm. Actually, you were hearing about. <laughs> uh, fortunately, in bracket, right? No one else seems to understand them. Mm. <laughs> After seven pints, you can't speak English at all, mm. uh, and also forget your own language. <laughs> this is too much elaborated. Yes. And, mm. and after over over seven pints, seven pints, you start speaking American English. <laughs> <laughs> and in bracket here, a danger zone. Mm. <laughs> so for the British, American English, so 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 yeah. so 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 like so lower level. Lower level. <laughs> okay, that, that's just just a real, uh, just a, you know joke. So my point here is that the world, as you said, the, every English accent or every English English or, yes. or, or all Englishes are unique. And uh, along that line, I would say the world cultures are so rich and interesting because uh, ties feel, feel and react like ties. Uh, you feel and react, react like the Vietnamese yes. and Japanese same and American people same. But if everyone starts mimicking like uh, mm -hmm. native, native speakers, the world becomes bland, not very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> and that was the point. Okay, here's another quiz to her and my viewers. This yes. is very funny. Long time ago, I think something like 40 years ago, my uh, boss went to Hong Kong yes. and uh, took a taxi. Mm -hmm. And through the windows, my boss looked at the mountain. He asked the driver, is it possible to climb that mountain? And the driver, okay. And the mountain, okay. The fact yes. is the mountain uh, looks near mm -hmm. by eyes. But if yeah. you walk, it can be very far, far. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, my, my question. How did this Hong Kong driver actually say to my boss in Hong Kong English? You should mm. speak like Hong Kong English, please. Just. Mm. Mm. I, I myself have never been to Hong oh, okay, Kong. Okay, okay. You, you become Hong Kong driver. I just answer uh, me. I, I'm, I'm my boss. Is it possible to walk the mountain, climb the mountain? Then. Possible, but far. Oh, very nice. That's very <laughs> economical. <laughs> That's very honky. That's very economical. Well, actually, what he actually said is, um, is like this. Okay? Mm. That mountain boss, looking is near, but walking is far. <laughs> oh, yeah. This sure. is also very... Yes. What do you think? Very st well, I mean, it, as long as it's easy to ah. understand. Ah. Yes. I, okay, this yeah. is okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yours is even better. <laughs> this is communication, right? One more uh, example, my own experience in Singapore. After uh, five days uh, business is done, I'm headed for Changi Airport mm -hmm. for Haneda. And the uh, taxi stops at the airport. Then the driver looked back at me. Yes. Yeah. And he asked me uh, if I have, if I keep something uh, at the trunk. Mm -hmm. Okay. So normally he asks me, yes. okay, become a Singapore driver and speak like a Singapore and answer my question. Uh, so like uh, I'm supposed to ask you like whether yeah. you yeah, yeah, yeah. forgot anything in the yeah, trunk? Or keep something in, in, in the mm. trunk, in a Singapore English, please. 
What did he say to me? Do you keep all your luggage with you? Oh, that's too uh, correct. <laughs> okay, what did he, did he say? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. okay what he said is, Bakoting. Bakoting. Understand? Bakoting. No, you don't. Bakoting. I immediately understood within back, within the second. Yes. Back something. Gotting. Got got thing. Ah, you got something. Yeah, oh, of course. Okay. okay. <laughs> you are from Asia, but more, all Japanese don't understand. Even Singaporean yeah. don't understand. Yes. Okay, what he said is, yeah. bakot bakotin, bakotin, meaning come from a come of a, come from a oh. British style English. Have you got something at the back? Bakotin. Wow. This is the champion of the world wow. English, isn't it? Wow. Better than uh, British English, isn't wow. it? Wow. <laughs> bakotin. <laughs> but I immediately got it. Oh. Uh, very much exposed. Oh, oh, I'm very much yeah. exposed. Because you, you spend all a long the, time. All the nuances. Oh, so mm. by that, I feel like that's uh, American or native English is in, is good because it is good, mm. but not everything. Mm. It doesn't become the reason for us to feel small, for example, yes. like Italian case you mentioned. Uh, what are the costs? What are the costs of uh, running after? Uh, native English and end up a second class speakers forever. Uh, to answer that question, uh, let's look at the Japanese expatriates, business people overseas, yes. because expats are supposed to be uh, good communicators in general. How are they viewed by local managers? Yeah? Mm. Can you show and uh, yes. tell, tell us the viewers? This is a summary of uh, how foreign managers <coughs> view Japanese expatriates. And the f first of all, like uh, the personal and corporate philosophies are weak. And secondly, um, Japanese expatriates don't know local stuff, hearts or feelings deeply. And, th and thirdly, uh, Japanese expats, uh, expatriates don't act like leaders. Okay, thank you. So uh, if it, uh, w when they cannot communicate their company philosophy or vision, then company business management is impossible. If they don't know local, local people's feelings uh, deeply, it's difficult to lead the team. Uh, don't act like leaders is sh uh, simply because of a lack of management experiences mm -hmm. when they are back home, so mm -hmm. they may not have, have anything to do with the language issue. Okay, where does, what do you think, ha Hasan? Where yes. does this uh, weak messages, if that is true, come from? Mm. Actually, I myself can relate to this, mm. Uh, mm. these messages mm -hmm. because like, there is one common mm. complaint about mm. Japanese expat oh. like, community. Okay. Uh, and I myself have friends mm. who, you know, he is Japanese, but mm. he worked in Thailand for a few years. Mm. And he said, like, for example, like, Japanese expats tend to stick together at mm. weekend. Mm. They don't want to and they don't mm. care about mingling mm. with, mm. you know, like... Uh, mm like uh, local, lo local, local people, people, local culture. They stick together and play mm. golf. And I mean, like, of course, no offense, mm -hmm. like they can do whatever right. they want, but it seems to him, a mm. Japanese mm. Uh, a, mm. a Japanese person, that mm. uh, most Japanese people are not willing mm. to mm. be a part of the mm. local community they mm. are in, so. It, it, mm. uh, uh, it's not so easy for us to get out of, outside of the, mm. the so-called comfort zone, yes. maybe language is inhibiting us from mm -hmm. venturing out to the community for one for one reason okay uh, I can you look can you show the, yes. <coughs> the the slide about where the where those weak messages may come from yes would you like to read it Alan, please? yes uh, first of all like this masochistic view of Japanese modern history the second is the blind acceptance of Western social values as superior to Japan's and the third one is Japanese don't know where to anchor their souls to. Regarding the masochistic view, uh, as Sakura Channel viewers are know so well, uh, after Tokyo trial, most thoughts related to Japanese history, philosophy, uh, national pride, including uh, imperial family, have been burned on fire and uh, rejected. And uh, anything as anti-democratic, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's been in the back of the many of the Japanese mind, uh, including uh, educators mm -hmm. who teach our young children, even after 72 years. 
and therefore blind acceptance, and Japanese don't know uh, how to where they don't have a spiritual foundation, so to speak. So um, until when are we going to continue like this? Uh, when in fact uh, all the cultural, the political, economic uh, axes are shifting to Asia and multipolar. Yes. And uh, I'd like to show you some of the data. Shift of economic hegemony to Asia Pacific. Yes. Yeah. And according to this slide, we can see like the uh, world population is now 7.6 billion. And Asia Pacific region makes up for 60% which is 4.5 4, uh, 4. billion. Mm. And also talking about world GDP, like the total, Im uh, like the total amount is 79 trillion US dollar and Asia Pacific uh, contributes 25 trillion so US dollar. So that's about 32% 30, or something. Yes. Yeah. And also like 80% uh, of the people, Japanese use English with our people in Asia Pacific. Okay, very interesting. Because of the, uh, you know, most businesses are I mean, many businesses are, are done between Japan and Asia, of course, yes. China, for example, and Southeast Asia. And a lot of traveling is yes. between these two regions. So, so I think it's, a, it's understandable 80% of the people we use English with yes. uh, would be someone from Asia Pacific. Yes. Okay, thank you. So, um, another question. Yes. Um, uh, I'd, like, I'd like to look at the world English use. Okay? Um, there was a uh, there was one study uh, uh, for people from nine countries who, yes. who use English, and then they did a test that like which countries English is most uh, easiest to understand by reading something aloud. When yes. when you hear it, do you understand yes. the content or not? Okay, among well, nine countries, and actually actual actual academic paper hasn't reached my inbox yet, so I can't tell you which countries and what criteria. But generally, yes. giving an idea. Uh, of all the countries of the world, uh, which country do you think, guess, is easiest to understand their English? Well, talking from my own experience, mm. uh, there are two countries. Oh. Like, there are two uh -huh. uh, occasions that uh -huh. Uh, uh -huh. I was lost at like, what to respond. Okay. Uh, first, the first experience, um, back when I, I traveled to Scotland, mm. and uh, like uh, on the first day, I had no idea okay. what they were talking <laughs> okay, about. Okay, sure. So right. um, that was the first case. Uh, and, and Scottish, the, all yes. right. And the second, like the second occasion, it's when I went to Singapore uh, uh, to attend a conference, uh, and I went to a local Indian restaurant. Uh, and I had no idea what the <laughs> Indians talk, talk to yeah, me. <laughs> because of course, the backwater countries. <laughs> like, what what yeah. is the easiest to understand country? Uh, is it Japan to, or...? Mm, uh, in terms of... Well, I think uh, Vietnamese English is the oh, easiest to understand. Oh, to it, you, eh? It, to you. Yeah, to me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, you show the, show the data, yes. please. All the nine countries, um, Sri Lankan mm. and Japanese mm. and American was uh, harder than Japanese English when mm. you hear it. And uh, Hong Kong, the, the, the hardest. Mm. I guess uh, if uh, India were among the nine countries, <laughs> so you, they may become the champion, but I don't yes. know. But at least the general tendency mm -hmm. is that our English is not so... Uh, is, is easier than American mm -hmm. English uh, because of the accent, right? Yes. Uh, but, you know, okay, when you say so in uh, three, yes. I, uh, three, it's, uh, you, you don't know what I'm talking about. But when it's because I have a context, I mm -hmm. will say I have three friends. Mm. Then you will understand yes. three. Mm. That's why. Mm. But when, with a strong accent, it's very difficult to understand. Yes. Mm. Mm. So, um, um, so, so my question is mm. how, how how can we use English? <laughs> yeah, that, that's a big issue. <laughs> title of the uh, program. Um, one uh, example: how we can use English most effectively to meet our. The, uh, our goal is an example of uh, uh, World Cup Russia. Would you like to show yes. the panel? Whether you agree this or not, uh, it's up to the viewers. But uh, higher ranked teams, they compete over physical, by mm -hmm. physical, physique, and uh, speed, and by famous 
players uh, super techniques, mm -hmm. right? But the Samurai Japan <laughs> hasn't got any of these. Mm -hmm. Instead, they, they fought by the use of organization, mm -hmm. the management, yes. also diligence, mm -hmm. meaning hard work, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> meaning running mm -hmm. faster, or, I mean, uh, longer than, yes. than the other teams, mm -hmm. maybe, on a, on, a, on a field, and teamwork, obviously. Mm -hmm. Isn't this the Japanese culture? Right? Yes. And what manager Nishino Kantoku said in an interview is famous. The chemical reaction or plus alpha. Yeah, plus mm. alpha is a Japanese English, yeah? but yes. uh, mm. value added. Yes. Yeah? So when people work in teamwork in highly organized fashion, mm. people have a synergistic effect, right? Mm. So the point is, Samurai Japan secured many difficult wins yes. because they fought left or the right. Mm. Yeah? Going into Nishino-san or the result of the games, yes. uh, Samurai Japan teams fought the right-hand side style. Mm. That's why they won yes. certain mm. wins. So the point is uh, the Japanese played the global football game mm. by the Japanese style. Yes. And that's why they could mm. succeed. That, that's my view. Mm. That's my view. So by fighting or, or playing the Jap international business game or diplomacy, mm. whatever, our way, mm. chances are bigger mm. that we would secure the wins like samurai mm. people. Yeah. yeah, I think it's true. Mm. So uh, if we save our time and use that time to learn our own ways and rules, then the next slides will... Uh, we can use those precious time to tackle with the tasks waiting for the Japanese leaders to do. So like these are tasks for Japanese leaders. Mm -hmm. First is to communicate vision. Second is to engage employees. Or stakeholders. Yeah. Yes. And the third one is to guide the team. Mm -hmm. The fourth one is to help collaborate. Mm -hmm. And the fifth one is to create fans of Japan. Yeah. Just, just, hold, just keep the, the, yes. the paper. So team is not just Japanese team, but multicultural team. Yes. And uh, collaborate among the members, engineers or experts, beyond cooperation, mm -hmm. because that's what we need, the synergy. OK, those are the today's messages, messages, messages from a studio. And uh, how's, how's today's topic? Uh, English I, language. I personally find today, <laughs> today's topic very interesting, refreshing. Yeah, different from the, different the previous, from, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I <laughs> could learn, you know, like your personal stories about uh, different accents mm. and very funny story I remember Bakoten, okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it will be very helpful when I go to Singapore <laughs> yes, again. Yes, yes. Okay, so you need, uh, you don't need the uh, English program anymore, but what you, you would need a uh, Samurai Japanese language program. Mm. Uh, okay, so the point today is, um, I think we, we should by now graduate from the catch-up strategy. Mm. Speak like American people and go free from the myths of native English and spend our precious time to influence the world, like samurai uh, players. The most important is to have our own compelling reasons and compelling messages. And uh, people find other people charming because other people find some, uh, ha have their own unique opinions, mm -hmm. different from, from theirs. So. Uh, uh, won't those messages uh, touch the heart of the people uh, from now on? Okay. So that's it. So thank you for sharing those information. Uh, yeah, and sure, sure. Uh, like, um, at the end of our program today, I would like to introduce a seminar on people mm. who wants to, who are interested in and wants to like brush up their skills to work with Japanese people in general. So uh, actually uh, people in Asia. Uh, yes, people in Asia. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, like uh, this is a seminar like organized by um, Mr. Kawatani. And uh, the name of the seminar is uh, ASEAN Indo Chugoku wo Chushin Toshita Asia Ibuka Business Seminar. Uh, literally, Asian, Asian cross culture business seminar focused on ASEAN, India, and China. Yes, thank okay. you very much. And supported by Sankei Online uh, Company. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes, and this seminar it uh, will be organized. Uh, will be organized on a 2018 um, September 6. It's Thursday in Shinjuku. And for more information, you can uh, send your requests or uh, questions to this um, to this address. Yes, or you can go by this very seminar title. Okay, yes. thank you. So that's it for today. I hope it means something to your father uh, uh, acquiring the English language. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Until next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.